Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the all new 2023 GMC Canyon AT4. I am at the Chicago Auto Show. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of what makes this new vehicle so special. Stay tuned. All right, so like I mentioned, I am at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show with the 2023 GMC Canyon. And while I've got the hood up, why don't we just talk about the elephant in the room? That is the departure of the V6 from the Canyon lineup. That's right, all 2023 and newer GMC Canyons will come with the 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder. And that means that you can get fuel economy and power and efficiency. Believe it or not, the 2.7 liter turbo is even more powerful than the V6 in which it replaces. This is the same 2.7 that can be found, has been found in the bigger uh, Silverado and Sierra pickup trucks from Chevy and GMC. So we know that this engine has been out and around for a while and it has been tested in much larger vehicles. So getting it here in this midsize uh, pickup truck is just an advantage. Now, I know a lot of y'all might be wondering what this box is here for. It is because I am at the auto show. That helps keep the vehicle powered for all the electronics inside. So don't worry about that. That will not be in the version that you buy at your local GMC dealership. But yeah, let's talk about this 2.7 liter turbo, which has over 430 pound-feet of torque. So yeah, more powerful than the V6 it replaces. 310 horsepower, 430, I believe, pound-feet of torque. So very impressive numbers from GMC on this Canyon. As we close the hood, we can take in the new styling for 2023 on the GMC Canyon. So you see LED running lights that are split by some of the bodywork here. It's a very interesting and unique look, but very distinct to GMC's current design language. So you know, the Sierra has got these C-clamp lights, running lights on the front of their vehicles. So we've got that same look here with the Canyon, but I really like this kind of X look right here. Really goes in with the AT4X trim, which this one is not. So. This one is the AT4 model. Think of it as the Trail Boss equivalent. The Trail Boss is new for uh, the Chevy Colorado. This AT4 trim is not new for the Canyon, but what is new is the fact that it has not only a suspension lift, but all Canyons have a much wider track to them. So you can see here versus the, G or the Chevy version, the fender flares actually stick out quite a bit on this pickup truck. So all canyons have a much wider stance and that is a welcome addition in this midsize pickup truck segment, something that really sets this canyon apart. And I really like that it is the actual metal fenders that are flared out and you still get a rather traditional over fender here. Uh, um, being that this is the off-road variant, they are black, but Back to the lighting, LED running lights, LED turn signals, LED headlights, LED fog lights, LED lights all the way around. And then you can see the AT4 badge there in the grill. And this one does have uh, cameras all around. The Canyon actually does introduce underbody cameras, something they're stealing from the Hummer EV, which is, yeah, right there. But uh, we're talking about the GMC Canyon, so. A very nice pickup truck here. Again, I said it's got a two inch lift and you can see even like the uh, ZR2 version of the uh, outgoing Colorado, we've got a nice little cutout here for a better approach uh, for your tires here. So more contact area for your tire and less contact area for your front bumper. I really like that. You do get some underbody protection and yes, red tow hooks. Hopefully Toyota does not do away with the tow hooks on their Tacoma like they did on their larger Tundra, but you can see all the underbody protection there as well. You can see this right here is plastic, but as you get up underneath here, 
uh, you get to the metal bits, which I can't actually reach. Uh, it's metal where it counts the most and where it will protect the most. Moving around to the side, you can really appreciate its stance. That uh, wider stance, that taller stance, really gives this a muscular, athletic, ready to pounce look. I think it really is the best looking midsize pickup truck in the segment. The Tacoma has aged. Frontier got a very heavy, heavy, heavy update uh, just a couple of years ago, but this really is the best looking out of all of them. And it does steal cues from the bigger Sierra pickup truck, including these trapezoidal type uh, wheel wells. They aren't round. That may drive some people crazy. You would think it would drive OCD me crazy, but it doesn't. I really like them. Get GMC branded lighting right up above here, marker lights, just showing the additional width of this vehicle. Again, a, a note that they stole from their heavy duty line of pickup trucks. And then moving down to these wheels and tires, we get Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. These are 275, 65, 18s. So I like that there's actually some decent sidewall on these tires, that uh, they didn't go with a 20 inch wheel or anything like that. So you get a good aggressive off-road tire with plenty of sidewall and uh, some capability to it there. You get a much larger AT4 badge here on the door in a place where it actually makes sense. So if you know from the Colorado video, they put Colorado up here on the side of their trucks, but GMC says, no, we're putting it down where it makes a little more sense. I like that a lot. You get GMC's uh, passive entry system right there, but we'll talk more about the inside in just a moment because I wanna move around back here to the back. So the wheelbase on this has increased three inches over the outgoing model. The overall vehicle has stayed about the same size. So you would think that means more cab space, but really it's just for better off-road uh, capability and uh, ability that just ups the ante for this vehicle over the outgoing model. Moving back here to the back, get LED lights. Again, borrowing from the larger Sierra, you get these C-channel tail lights back here. I like it a lot. And then the tailgate wars do progress to the midsize pickup truck segment. You drop the tailgate here. And interestingly enough, get the same top of the tailgate that you get on the Canyon. I mean, the Colorado from Chevrolet with the mountains there. But this is a very unique and interesting option for the segment. You open those two latches and flip this up right here and you have some in tailgate storage. So really making the most of all the space around you, you have storage in the tailgate. There is a drain plug. You can see it is sealed, so it is watertight. You can make it a cooler, fill it with ice if you need to, or you can put tools back here, uh, tow cables, uh, <laughs> jumper cables, whatever you may need, you can put that back here and uh, just keep it secure because uh, you can lock the tailgate as well. And then you just push down and close this. I have heard a lot of people uh, comment on my Colorado videos about just how flimsy they feel that these little latches are gonna be and they're gonna get knocked off. They don't sit flush. So if you're just dragging something over, they're not gonna be hit that way and they are actually more durable than you would expect. You can see not really moving. So they're a little more difficult to operate than just a flimsy little latch. So there, there's some ruggedness to them. And again, if you're bringing stuff out and over them, it'd be really interesting to see how this holds up over time if it starts catching stuff, if you forget to lock it down really good. But I, I really like this as an option. And of course, the tailgate is really light and easy to close. You can see I did say it was a lockable tailgate and you do have a camera back there for your backup camera, AT4 badge and styling from the uh, Sierra pickup truck with the word Canyon under GMC. Very familiar styling back here. Same with the corner step bumpers. So uh, this is where GMC hides the blind spot monitoring so that your taillight is just a taillight and not anything more. Really like that. And it makes it easy to put your foot in and get up into the bed, even if you don't drop that tailgate down. So like that a lot, but let's move inside because 
This is where the AT4 really sets itself apart from the Trail Boss on which it shares a lot of mechanical similarities. Where the Trail Boss is kind of a trimmed down, pared down version, this is a really nice and upscale version. And I'm gonna have to close the door so it quits chiming at me. But you can see we've got dual screens here that work in tandem with one another. Uh, to display the GMC. Again, this is, please forgive it for not working. Uh, this is in show mode, but you can see we have a digital gauge cluster here, eight inch gauge cluster here. Uh, I believe it is an 11 inch, just over 11 inch center screen here, class leading. Uh, it is horizontally opposed, so really showing the width of the vehicle, which is something that GMC is wanting to do. There we go. We'll get that on that way. But yeah, a lot of people have talked about lighting in this. So no more lighting controls down here. All your lighting controls are actually on the screen. So if you want to turn your fog lights on, cargo lights, auto high beams, headlights, if you want to control any of that, that is here on the screen. So perhaps one of the most controversial choices GMC has made uh, with this pickup truck, but what isn't controversial, not to me, is the upscale styling in here. So we've got some leather on the dash with stitching. We've got AT4 there, a lot of different materials and different looks. Dual zone climate controls, hard buttons uh, for redundancy so you don't have to dig through men menus, heated and ventilated front seats. This is a really nice pickup truck. Again, the Trail Boss, which shares a lot mechanically in, in line with this, is a stripped down version. This is a really nice and upscale version. I think I said dual zone climate there. Auto express down of all windows. Uh, defeat for your auto start stop of your engine. Hazard lights, uh, lane keep, an auxiliary switch so you can uh, add some trail lights or something like that. USB-A, USB-C, some rubberized uh, storage right there. Mechanically actuated gear selector here, which uh, does have a manual mode. It is the eight speed transmission of updated version of the outgoing. And then here is your electronic transfer case, two high, four high, four low with drive modes and then auto mode. So I like that as well. So it is the introduction of a push button uh, starter for the Canyon line. So the previous generation only had actual physical keys. So nice to see this catch up to the uh, modern uh, times. And then all your power window controls over here. Very nice, very wide looking and appearing dash in this one. And then as we pivot over to the seats, leather seats with contrasting uh, stitching and accents on them. I really like the piping and the khaki accents they put on here with AT4 embroidered on the side. Interesting that it's not in the headrest. And then if you look, even the perforations are two-toned. So just a lot of visual interest going on up here. And you can see even the knee pad on the door there is padded, which is really nice. But let's anger the vehicle once more, open the door, and we will get in the back. So gone are the extended cab versions and gone are the longer bed versions. So you can't get the six foot bed anymore. You can't get the extended cab. All models are crew cab. All models have the five foot bed. So that is another consideration when shopping the 23 version versus snagging a 22 that may still be out on a lot. We did test a 22 elevation model with the V6. So if you wanna see what, what is leaving us, go check that out. But here we are, the extended or the crew cab version. I'm hopping in the back and so this seat is further back than I would sit, but yeah, my knees are in the seat and you can see my head uh, has a nice little cutout right here, but yeah, the, the roof, the ceiling, it, it's right here. And the seat back has got a nice recline to it, but yeah, um, not the most spacious back seat. If you're looking for a very spacious back seat, you're gonna trade it up to the bigger Sierra pickup truck. Whereas uh, this is really more for uh, more maneuverability it's easier to drive in town on the trails, whatever the case may be, thanks to its more compact size, even though mid-sized pickup trucks really have grown a lot over the years and the decades. But I'm gonna move out and show you some trick features of these seats back here. So 
We do have a, a fold down center armrest back here with side by side cup holders. We do have three across seating. We get more of that contrasting piping and accents here. But this is actually a flip and fold up rear seat, but you have to do it with a latch. So pardon the view here for just a second as I use my camera hand to flip that seat up. So the bigger trucks do this same action without the use of levers. And I like that a lot. Unfortunately here on the midsize segment, we've got to deal with the latch, but you can see it is firmly into place. It's not going anywhere. And you've got some under seat storage here. That's where all your uh, fix or your tools are for fixing a flat. There we go, changing your tire and uh, some additional under seat storage here. And if you pull the lever, it does fold down by itself. So you can fold it back down one handed, but yeah, there is the back seat of the Canyon and you can fold these headrests down to just give you a little bit better view out of this rather small back window, which does have a manually operated uh, slide open feature back there in the back. But that is about it for my time here with this 2023 GMC Canyon AT4 model. This really is a nice pickup truck. I think this is the one I would buy out of all of the midsize pickup trucks right now if I could get my hands on this one. If you want to see more from us here at the Chicago Auto Show or anything else we are doing, find us on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all the things at GT Garage Talk, or you can just head to gtgaragetalk.com. Hit all the buttons down below, like, subscribe, comment, follow, ring the bell, all the things to let the algorithm know to show you more content from us. And as for me here at the GMC booth of the 2023 Chicago Auto Show, until next time, gearheads.